Good. Do you remember any like worst battle that you had with one of your brothers? Man, I, I, we had some good ones. Rob has some really good ones with Dan. Rob was the only one crazy enough to kind of jump the older brother and then go to the, the, the one that was older than him. So uh, Rob and I fought like crazy because we were the closest. And then, uh, you know, he would go after Dan and Dan was just an absolute beast. And uh, he was like 6'6", 240 in high school. And Rob would go after him and Dan would just whoop him every single time. And he'd just keep coming back for more. But uh, there, was a, there was one epic battle where the babysitter tried to break it up and Rob whipped a fork at her or at Dan and, and it ended up hitting the babysitter in the hand and getting stuck in her hand. And he had a bloody nose and he was just spitting blood on the ceiling of our house. So when my parents finally came home, it was like this war zone. <laughs> it was like, man, it was crazy. And that, that babysitter never came back again. That's for sure. Was it, was it always, I mean, like, you know, I guess people on the outside would imagine that it was quite chaotic because to have five boys who are all huge and there's a lot of testosterone, was it as chaotic as one might, imagine it to be i would probably say yeah uh i mean every day was a fight for sure i mean between multiple brothers so i don't think a day went by where you know there wasn't some kind of brawl so yeah man i, I would say i would say it's pretty crazy uh you know i have three boys now and two of them are you know at the age where they could actually fight and it's it's pretty wild already so i can't imagine when you have five that are all in that stage where you know, every day is a, is a brawl. So, yeah, I would say I'll, I'll go with yes on that one. Was there ever, uh, like, a, a brawl with all five of you at the same time or no? Ah, uh, man, I don't know. So there would probably be four of us. Glenn was a little bit younger. So right. uh, Glenn was four years younger than Rob. So he never really got into the brawls with uh, all the bros. But I would say the other four, yeah, we, we, we would play, like, backyard baseball and, like, mini sticks in the basement, and it would definitely end up in a brawl. Now – how has uh, your experience growing up kind of, uh, you know, changed or affected or if any at all, the way that, you know, you parent, you're now three sons? Man, uh, I'm really trying to, to follow in my parents' footsteps. They did a couple of things that I think were, were huge um, for, for us. And, and the first one was, I don't even know if it was on purpose at first or not, but uh, it definitely was later on, but they never gave us anything uh, unless we earned it. So, uh you know, if we walk down the aisle, the candy aisle, you know, the checkout that gets everyone and we beg for candy, there was never one time that my mom said yes to us. I, there's no chance. Like she just, th th we, we could just stop asking because there was no, she never once said yes to us getting candy. Um, you know, stopping at fast food, you know, we used to do chants on the way home, like Burger King, <laughs> Burger King, trying to stop because all of our other friends were, we could see them the drive through and you know, my parents never would, but their whole philosophy was, you, know, you have to earn everything that you have. And if you want it, you can buy it yourself. And it really taught us the, the value of a dollar, <clears throat> which I think was huge. <clears throat> Sorry, man. But um, with that, like, you know, we, we had jobs when we were young. You know, we had a paper route that taught us responsibilities. Uh, we worked at the, the local baseball fields and umpire. I worked for my dad at the age of 15, delivering treadmills and, and fitness equipment. But just an amazing lesson, man. And, and you see the parents now and, and, and I'm, man, I'm guilty of it. You know, I can give my kids whatever I want to. And when they ask, I, I want to say yes. And you want to give them the world. But when you do that, you're hurting them. You know, you, you're, you're showing them that all they have to do is cry uh, or complain and you're going to give them what they want. And you see it happen to kids all the time. You know, the, 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 the rich kids and they don't have to be rich either. But uh, you see the parents just give them everything and they never learn to earn it themselves. And it becomes a problem later on in life. And um, I, I just think that was a, a huge lesson. The second one is just my parents always made us do our homework first before we did anything else. So um, if we wanted to go outside and play sports, which everyone knows this for, we actually weren't allowed to do that until we got our homework done. And it really, there was no exceptions to this. So it wasn't like, Hey, I'll do it later. Or, you know, today you can go outside first. It was always do your work first and then you can play. So uh, that just became normal to us. And, and because there was no other option, we just did it. You know, I, I didn't think anything else. I thought that's, you know, it's kind of, that is what it is. I'm going to come home and do my homework. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at felix.levine. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.